Adolescent girls from poor homes continue to face challenges regarding affordability and access to sanitary parts. This is due to the high cost of the sanitary parts, the imposition of high taxes on the commodity described as a luxury has also contributed to the high prices. At Ningo in the Greater Accra region, teenage girls due for menstruation periodically absent themselves from school. This prompted the Ghana Girls Guide and a group of students from some selected schools in Accra to intervene. What do you think luxury means to you when this is a health issue, this is something that is persistent in the community, it's something that's part of you. It's not that you have the choice to have your period. We need to make sure that it's affordable to them. We need to make sure that they have access to these things. They are not luxury goods, they are necessities. 70 adolescent girls were trained to make reusable menstrual parts with locally sourced materials. One of the major outcomes is that each of the girls has a reusable part to take home. They know how to use it, how to take care of it, and so they have a product that can last them a very long time. And so by doing this, we can show people that there are alternatives and that we don't have to wait for the government to be able to know whether or not we have access to a basic material that we all need. Because our menstrual cycles will not wait for us. Ghana Girls Guide Association National Training Coordinator, Stephanie Nade Ayariga, emphasized the need for healthy handling of reusable parts. So we have communicated to these girls how to properly use the reusable sanitary pad, washing it with soap and water, drying it in the sun to make sure it's well dried and then you can use it. So the hygienic aspect of reusable sanitary pad is as important as educating the girl on how to make their own pad. The girls were also educated on reproductive health and the need to shun teenage pregnancy. Bye. Bye. Bye.